Hey everybody, this video brings me, the Rickster, Mike and John out to Fenty's Flea Market. And of course, the reason why we are at Fenty's Flea Market is to check out the video game movie dome. We all have a ton of stuff to trade and you got piles of stuff. I've, I've of course got a whole entire bin here full of stuff. We've all got, well, I don't have anything. You've got stuff, I've got stuff. We don't all have stuff. Most of us most have, of us have stuff. They, we, yeah. We've got enough stuff for 75 people. That's what we're trading in. Pam's gonna love us. It's gonna be awesome. I've got a ton of store credit. I've got stuff on hold. Do you have stuff on hold? Do you have stuff on hold? Very tiny pile. Do you have stuff on hold? I'm all right. So we're gonna pick up some stuff. Let's go inside. We got stuff to trade in. We're gonna go inside? Yes. I want a hot dog. We've arrived, Pamela! We're here at the video game and movie demo again. Of course, that's the whole reason why we come to Fancy's Flea Market in the first place. Not that Fancy's Flea Market isn't amazing just in of itself, but I mean, of course, if you're coming to Fancy's Flea Market, you're you're coming to the video game movie dome. She's got some cool stuff like Forever Night. I actually have those Sopranos, Puppet Master Collection. I mean, so much awesome stuff. Just unfortunately, as of right now, stuff I already have, but I am seeing a bunch of 4Ks, maybe some things that are tempting to upgrade like clockwork orange i know she has um, some things on hold for me as well that i'm seeing in here so all right, all right what are you already finding stuff you want yeah oh but i wait hold on do we trust him with the keys because I, I heard a story oh yeah somebody broke the lock last time they were here but, yeah apparently last time john used the keys it didn't it didn't go so well i are didn't you, even tell are that you, story not. so other people must are you gonna are you gonna behave what? you, you, you gonna be good this could be, this could be bad. I see stuff too. Wow, so okay, everybody's losing their mind. They're all digging through the case right now. The Ricksters, ah, ow, what, 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 are we, what are we Stop doing? Pain. What are we doing? Okay, Stop so pain. what did you find there? Look at this. It's the Best Buy exclusive 4K no, steelbook of Who Framed Roger Rabbit 25. But you got a bunch of stored credit, right? So yeah, yeah, <laughs> just, 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 uh, yeah, we have, we have a little bit of stored credit in this store. So all right, you're, you're picking that up. That's pretty awesome. You also want that? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I don't know, I'm still tempting uh, the, the clockwork orange. I don't know. It's, it's right, it's right, right there. This, this is why we don't put John in charge of things because it, right it just, it just doesn't, doesn't end well. As the Rickster said, he's been here for all of 10 seconds. All right, so what, what did you pull out of the case race? Okay, the Hoover and Roger Rabbit. 4K, but I, mean, I do too. Come on. Oh, yeah, you gotta get it's the steel book. It's, it's awesome. Pig, I haven't seen that yet. I hear it's good. Yeah, yeah. I, I know it's on Hulu, but. I'll have to check that out on Hulu. My, oh, I didn't even see that in what there. That, that's cool. Oh, the original poster is. That's the, uh, that's really awesome. That's a great movie. Sealed? That would see that would be tempting to pick up uh, as a uh, as an upgrade. That's cool. I mean, yeah, I haven't seen that yet either. I've heard great things. I've heard good I've things about that too. I haven't seen it yet. Kino. Yeah, it's a remake though, right? I think. So, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I haven't seen yeah. the original either. So, all right, cool. Again, all of ten seconds, and already you got a stack of, of Blu-rays and four Ks. A little bit of credit. I I don't know what I'm picking up. I think I have stuff on hold though. All right, so um, I looked through the case now and did end up finding two titles I wanted to pick up. I don't actually have the new Candyman yet. Not that I'm some, like, huge fan of the Candyman franchise. I mean, I, I think it's an okay horror franchise, but I have heard good things about the new one, so I do want to... Uh, I actually want to get around to wa re-watching, like, the other three, right? If I'm mistaken, the other three movies and, and watching this one at some point. So brand new factory sealed. Gonna pick that up with my store credit and some, I know, anime I've never, never seen. This is um, Millennium Actress. I have no idea. Um, whatever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick that up as well. So I'm picking up uh, both of these. What are you trading in over here? I'm not allowed to trade. <laughs> I'm not allowed to trade in the man. Oh, show. okay. I, I, heard, I heard you say boobs and then Pam say, I can't take that. So I was like, wait, what's, what's going on? So, all right. Anyway, I'm grabbing both these and some other stuff. Maybe some boobs. So Pamela just said she got a bunch of new, uh, sort of more rare and obscure stuff over here in the case. And the Rickster freaks out. So before I show you guys what I have on hold, I'm coming over here to see what she has. Because, I mean, obviously I want to get the dibs on everything. I, I don't want the Rickster picking up everything out from underneath my nose, which I know he will do. So... Um, I don't know, anything over here I need? Maybe? Possibly? Nope. I hope, shut up, I'm gonna find stuff. Oh, I'm seeing some Criterions! All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm finding the Uninvited Criterion release and Rebecca Criterion release. I don't have either of these, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab both of those and, oh, you check out the Abbott and Costello? Nice, okay, I mean, she's got some Vault Series stuff here and some, um, Archive Collection stuff, and then, she pointed these out to me. She's got pretty much every single like season of Naruto, which I'm actually looking for a bunch of those. And just like that, I have no more store credit. 
Yeah, this is um, bad. I pretty much need all this stuff. I need the uh, Naruto movie here, and I need volumes 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, no, 15 for some reason, and 16. I need all of those. I already have one and two, so don't need to pick those up at least, but all, all the rest of these, they're all, I think they're like, what, what are they, like 12 or, yeah, 12 bucks a piece. I, I do need every single one of those. The, the good news is, though, I'm using store credit to get them, so it's not really going to cost me anything, but... That's um that's a good chunk of my store credit gone right there for for anime that you guys will make fun of me for saying I'm I'm never gonna watch. It's Naruto. I, I've I've actually seen Naruto. I've I've watched season one of Naruto. I need to watch the rest at some point. I'm buying all those. Okay, so again, grabbing all the uh, the Naruto seasons with the exception of the first two that I apparently already have. So yeah, those are all gone, Pam. Uh, Anyway, and then I'm picking up all this stuff she has on hold for me. So I'm grabbing another Criterion release here of the... I don't even know what this is. What, what does that say? The, the rule, ruling class. Uh, no idea. Leave comments down below. It's a Criterion I don't have. Then, then technically something I don't need, The Day the Earth Stood Still, because I already have a different release of this. But I, I need all of the, uh, the, the 20th Century Fox Studio Classics releases because, well, they numbered them. And if it's, if it's numbered, I... I need them all because I'm, I'm weird like that. Uh, picking up some more History Channel here with uh, some locomotion, the amazing world of trains, more History Channel, the uh, creation of the computer, the Colosseum, the railroads that tamed the West, and uh, when giants roamed. And I, I'm, I'm watching this tonight, Spider-Man No Way Home. I've actually not seen this movie yet. I know, I get so much flack for the fact that I haven't actually seen this yet. Well, tonight I will finally sit down and watch that. And also Resident Evil, uh, Welcome to Raccoon City, which I hear not so good things about, but I'm kind of a sucker for the Resident Evil movie, so I want to have this on uh, on 4K. Why not? So, but not like, Spider-Man. What? But not Spider-Man. Why not Spider-Man in 4K? I, I, would, I would take Spider-Man in 4K. Do you have Spider-Man in 4K, Pam? Well, then I'm going get to get it on Blu-ray. So, huge, gigantic pile. What? Huge, gigantic pile of stuff I'm picking up my store credit. Are you buying anything, John? Uh, no. Then shut your mouth. All right, so what's the uh, the Rickster finding over here? You anything worth picking up? So, ooh, some, uh, what are these? 20th Century Fox Cinema Archives releases. The Forbidden Street and... The Mudlark. Mudlark? What is the Mudlark? Are, th are these movies you're, you're interested in checking out? No? Picking, the, picking these up for other other reasons? Wink, wink, and nudge, nudge. All right, that's all, that's all you're grabbing? Yeah, maybe? Yeah, possibly? And now the Rickster broke the lock. See? I didn't take it off. This is why I don't thrift that much of these guys, because we can't have nice things around. I'm not sure if I should say that walking back over here was a good thing or a bad thing because um, I, I looked in the case and somehow I missed this. I, I missed the, the crazy neon blue case of uh, Evangelion 333. Yeah, it's more, it's more anime that I'm picking up for $10. The Rick's just shaking his head at me. I know. I know. Hey. hey it's not my wife. One of these days, I'll get around to watching all this stuff. Mark mark my words. Anim, anime year is coming to Cinema Sickness. It'll happen someday. Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. I'm picking this up, too. All right, so what does Mike have on hold? You're picking up... Oh, Joe's, Joe's apartment. apartment. Great movie. I yeah. love that one. Earth, Earth vs. the Spider. That's cool. I have that one, too. It's awesome, and, man. Yeah. I don't know. And man thing. Ser seriously, yesterday I lost my mind. I was like, P Pam, why did, you, why did you give him the one Marvel movie I need, I need to find that I'm looking for? And then I found it today for for a dollar, all super minty. Yep. So that you know what that that's okay. Although yours is factory sealed, factory sealed. that's pretty awesome. Yeah. But um, okay, whatever. Good good finds, and I don't have to be jealous. I mean, with the exception of your good looks, of course. Thanks. I kind of feel like I should take the time to go through all the uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games again because last time I was here, I actually did find a whole bunch I need. But I think I'm just gonna hold off and not do that as of right now because I'm. I'm with other people, but next time I come here on a Friday by myself to trade in smart movies, I'm probably just gonna pull up a seat, sit down right here, and go through literally every single one of these Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games and see what it is I might actually need for my collection. Again, kind of want to do it now, but I'll be good. I'll, I'll, I'll just let them pass for right now. Oh my gosh, can it be? Are you actually picking something up? You're grabbing a slip cover. Oh, okay. So that's that's it. Of what? Oh. You got Doctor Strange 3D at home? I don't I don't have Doctor Strange in 3, 3D. All right, okay, okay. I'm actually kind of jealous now that, now that I know you have that movie and you had the slipcover for it. That's, that's actually pretty Rick, awesome. Rick sold it to Booth Bay, Bay Greg. For uh, like, like when we went to Columbus the one time. And, and then, how did, and then how, did, how did you end up with it? 
Did he sell it to you then? Pam had one. Oh, okay. Well, Pam, Pam, next time you get a 3D copy of that, and I need it, okay? Uh, all right. But are you also grabbing this? The, the taboo title that, that Pamela can't sell? I've never seen that before in my life. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're I, saw, I saw that in your hands. I know, I, know you're, I know you're taking it off of Rickster's hands, you pervert. <laughs> So, uh, Pamela, I hear that you've been inundated with people saying you need to start um, carrying VHS tapes, right? No. I'm, I'm thinking this should happen right right there. No offense to the to vintage Nest people, but you need to take over that stand, fill that whole thing up with VHS tapes. Again, comments down below. If you want Pamela to start carrying the VHS, we, we need the comments. Let, let her know. VHS is something that needs to happen here at the Video Game Movie Dome. Oh, all right. I'm going to grab the uh, Clockwork Guards. The Richter says it's a really good tr like 4K transfer, right? So, I mean, I don't need it. I already have Clockwork Gardens on Blu-ray. And as I always say, I feel Blu-ray is kind of like the, the Goldilocks pur pur purridge. Porridge. It's like, it's perfect. I love Blu-ray, but I, I, I do really like this movie. So, I'm going to pick it up on 4K. Hey, fun story. In, in high school, when I used to be, you know, dating girls, I, I'd take, bring her to the house. And I'd say, hey, let's watch a movie. Guess... Guess what movie I'd always choose? I was, I was obsessed with this movie in high school. This would be the movie. You, you haven't seen Cockroach Gardens? You gotta see it. I didn't date, I didn't, I didn't end up dating many of those girls. I, want, I wonder why. Girls? I want, what? Girls. I said girls. You were dating girls? In high school? Oh. What? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Not, not a good date movie. Anyway. So I guess I owe a big thanks to both the Rickster and to uh, Pamela because Rick found um, a, a copy of Saw 3 with slipcover. My copy doesn't have slip. That's just something you don't, I don't know. We, we were saying you don't really ever come across the Saw slips very often, not for the original releases. And um, I have this release, so that's, that's pretty neat. And I asked Pam, well, how, how much do you want for just a slip? And she goes, just take it. So th thank you. Thank you, Rick, for finding it. And thank you, Pamela, for letting me have that. I, I appreciate that. You got it. I, I'm not even in the slips, but that's cool. I want it. What is going on over here? Because because I, 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 I want to get in on it. So um, anyway, you, you found one more title you want to pick up yeah, there? The, um, <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> There's a lot oh, of it's distance. Sunshine. Sunshine. It's a Danny um, movie. Yeah, I used to have this in my collection and then never got around to actually it's watching it. Really it. Have you seen it? It's yeah, good. It's top notch. Top notch, you know. Oh, that actually. <laughs> Just like that, we go PG 13. <laughs> or close to X. So it looks like the Ricksters found uh, some more stuff he wants to pick up here. What do we have? D Divorce. Never seen that. C CSI Miami. You're into those CSI shows? No. Oh, okay, okay, for for other reasons. Okay, I got you. Um, togetherness, brain games, which I think actually came from me. I traded that one in. Uh, the Adventures of P and P season one. Nice. Uh, WWE greatest. Fi fi what? Space monkey. <laughs> Th throw back to the last video. If you guys haven't seen that. WWE, the 50, 50 greatest, greatest moves in whatever wrestling history. Um, American Good season two. Oh, and then what else we got here? Oh, holes. nice. It's always sunny. Okay. Oh, I don't have sing two yet. That, that's awesome. Yes. The first one's good. The best. Title. Oh, the best. What, what's. Pam got one of my OOP Holy Grail. That's out of print now? On Blu ray? Yes. Extremely. And, Crap. Uh, yeah. That didn't come from me, did it? Because <laughs> I yeah. do. I have it on Blu-ray. Yeah. So is that is that worth some money? Is a, so uh, I'm, is, pay, I'm paying thirty-five. So so what you're saying is if um, if I do have that on Blu-ray, which I think I, I think I might, I need to put that on eBay and not trade it in. That's a good right. one. Good to good to know. So all right, you're grabbing some cool stuff. Some more some more cool Your stuff. That's actually bigger than mine. I'm impressed. I mean, cool. mine usually is bigger than yours. So no space monkey. Wait a minute, hold on. Th th I'm, I'm pretty sure this pile is bigger than I, I thought it was before. So what else? That's you... right, ladies. <laughs> oh, the pile. The pile well, the pile. Yes. yes, yes, the pile. I mean, Rick, Rick's pile does tend to grow. He's a he's a he's a grower, grow, gotten, grower, not a shower. Smaller. It, ha it has. It's looking looking pretty good. So what else do you pick up here? You got um, what is it? The the deuces, National, Tre National Treasure Two, Poison Ivy, Saturday Night Fever in Greece, Cruel World. Um, did we did we talk Lover about Boy. My Man Godfrey? Maybe maybe so. Lover, Lover Boy. Boy. Which right. I'm not sure if I own that or can't find me love or both. Lover Boy's a fantastic yeah. movie. It's it's so good. So all right, you're you're picking up more. Mask is that Mask of Zorro on oh, yeah, Mask of Zorro 4K? Okay, that's that's cool. So Alright. What, what oh Zorro with the with the Z? Got gotcha. 
my pile's still bigger. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the Video Game Movie Dome. Once again, Pamela, as always, thank you for all the amazing deals and letting us trade stuff in and just, and the, and the slip cover. Thank you very much. And you got awesome stuff and, and you got awesome stuff and you got, you know, you got a couple of things and, and some perverted stuff. It's, I mean, it's John, it's, it's what, what else would we expect? You're the one trying to trade it into Pam. That's all, that's all I got to say. That came from your collection, not from mine. I'm just, just, just saying. So, all right. <laughs> All right, Pam, so that's it, guys. So again, as always, thank you for everything. So be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness story. It came from Cinema Sickness. I'll also put a link down below. To, she's not even looking. Yeah, check out her I'll, YouTube I'll put, channel. Uh, yes, a I'll put- Q&A. I will put a link down below, not only to her Facebook page, or actually, can you find your Facebook page off your YouTube? I'll, I'll put a link to Pamela's YouTube channel down below. Check that out. If you guys are looking for something, hit her up. Is this it right here? This is the car right there? I there, can't do it. There, there you go. If you guys if you guys are looking for something, hit Pamela up. She can usually find it. As I always say, she's the wizard of finding movies. So again, down below links. And also check down below for a link to... Me. Oh, down to movie. And check down below for a link to... Sharks and Monsters fan. Oh, and... Some of bowls. There we go. So wow, that was the most winded, long, drawn out outro ever video game movie dome awesome place check it out see you guys in the next video have a good one Jeez. I, I need new friends all right bye